For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and let's check out Halloween trailer number two, the international version, which I've heard is completely different than the trailer that we got here in the States. Now, I did my own reaction to the new Halloween trailer as well as a, uh, a video for Jeremy's reaction to uh, Halloween trailer number two. So go check out those videos. I'll put links in the description. Um, for this trailer reaction, I will not include the actual trailer in the video because Universal Pictures copyright claimed both of those videos, even though my use of the, the Halloween trailer in both of those videos is protected by fair use. Um, Universal Pictures didn't quite seem to think so because I disputed both claims, but they said fair use. We don't recognize no stinking fair use. And of course, the way YouTube's copyright system is, they give all the power to the claimant and basically no power to the content creator. We can file the dispute, but if the claimant uh, denies the the claim, then the power is is all in their hands. the uh, the ball is uh, the ball is in their court. You, there's another step that you can further the this the dispute, but then the claimant can choose to remove the video uh, from YouTube. In which case, YouTube will then give your channel a copyright strike. So, uh, I decided not to um, <laughs> pursue. Uh, that step in the uh, in the dispute with Universal Pictures. So Universal Pictures, I can think of two words that I'd like to say to you. Uh, the first word begins with an F, and the last word ends with a U. Can you figure out what that is? It's seven letters total, two words, one very simple sentence, but that's it's what I think of when I think of Universal Pictures. So uh, without further ado... Let's go ahead and let's check out the international trailer for Halloween. Uh, this is the um, the international trailer. It uh, it's from Brazil. So very cool. It's two minutes and twenty five seconds in length, and here we go. Um, yeah, so that was, there was a lot of footage. There was a lot of brand new footage, uh, that was not seen in either, uh, the first trailer or the second trailer for Halloween here in the States. Um, there was, it was kind of, a, I would say about 40% of it was a hodgepodge of, um, scenes that we saw in the first trailer and in the second trailer here in the States. And then for the, the majority of it, however, was entirely new footage. I will say that this trailer is a lot less spoilery than a uh, trailer number two for Halloween that we got in the States. I will definitely say that it's a lot less spoilery. It's just as long, I believe, but it is not as, um, spoilery put it that way. Um, uh, it shares a lot of the same beats as the, as the other two Halloween trailers, the ones that we've seen here in the States, as far as, you know, Jamie or Lori, I'm sorry, has been waiting these 40 years, preparing for Michael's return, praying for his return. Um, it's, it, there's a, a really good line in this trailer. That's not been in the other two trailers that we've seen in the States, uh, in which, um, somebody says, uh, the monster created a monster, meaning the monster Michael Myers turned Laurie Strode basically into a monster. So um, that's kind of interesting, I think. We definitely got to see more of the granddaughter um, in this trailer. It seems like uh, it was really kind of half and half. It was The trailer was half focused on Laurie and half focused on uh, the granddaughter. 
So that's that's pretty interesting. I kind of think, actually, to be perfectly honest, that's probably um, probably how it's going to be in the movie. I think, yes, a, a good deal of it is going to be about Lori and what she's been doing these 40 years and, you know, preparing for this night when Michael, you know, returned. And I think a lot of it, too, is going to be focused on the granddaughter. Because, I mean, think about it, if the series goes on from here you know uh, and i'm sure it probably will be i really don't see any way that this movie is not going to be a huge hit um you know who's going to be the you know (laughs) who's going to be the protagonist um so yeah a lot less spoilery um this international version was definitely a lot less spoilery than trailer number two that we got here in the states and i actually think that um the trailer this trailer is going to be pretty indicative of how the movie is going to be as far as the focus being on laurie strode of course but quite a bit of it on the daughter as well and really in, in, in trailer number two we got here in the states there was nothing about the granddaughter um that i recall um Uh, this one definitely you know it was almost half and half i would say with focused on Lori and focused on the granddaughter and i think that's going to be what it's like uh in the film as a matter of fact so um i'll put a link to halloween trailer number two the international version in the description go over and check it out and please let me know your thoughts on it down in the description uh again i apologize i'm not going to show the trailer uh, in this video because of universal pictures um and um those two words that i'm i think of right now whenever i they come to mind whenever i think of universal pictures and their their uh, unwillingness to acknowledge fair use when it comes to uh, my my trailer reaction videos overall my thoughts on trailer number two for halloween the international uh cut um is uh not a bad trailer uh definitely less spoilery than the trailer that we got here in the states and a little more focus on the granddaughter and uh, we get to see some some footage from the film that we've not seen in either of the two halloween trailers that have been released here in the state so that's pretty interesting that was that was pretty cool but um again go check out the trailer for halloween uh the trailer number two the international cut if you will uh for halloween and let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below if you like this video please leave it a thumbs up if you're not following me on social media those links are in the description they're also right around here as always thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it take care and until next time peace join the a buck a month club and help support my channel on patreon thank you to my current patrons kevin Smythe, orc 145626 b movie mike robert sobel turi delamore stephen flanagan Lori holt mitch odell farron sutton craig farrand jeremiah lambert grindhouse grotto joseph charlesworth pb sam six Derek janna demon waffles tim williams stone gasman zachary barton mr bibby 86 james welch eli geisler jeff overing cliff hostetter Kyle McGuire, and Jay the Stingray. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.